Damon Levinsky here for a brand new spanking video in HIK. Alright, so in this video what I'll go over is um, mapping, how to map your skeletons, how to um, bring in motion capture data on both kinds of rigs, on you know, uh, rigs that you built or on a rig, you know, on the normal HIK. So, so let's get started. Alright, so here we have just um, a rig that I've built, um, as you can see a very simple, straightforward rig. I'm um, actually going to parent it to the head here. Alright, so if I move the head, everything's working. Alright, so it's not the best you know, skinning job here, but it works. So that's what's important. Anyway, um, what I want to do now is take this rig, which is a custom built rig, alright, it's a very simple rig, it took me about half an hour to make it, a simple FK, IK, I mean, there's no major stuff, there's no reverse foot in this one, I didn't do the fingers, I just took half an hour to put this together so I could show you, but the principle is sound, so let's get cracking. So firstly I gotta define a rig, I'll clear out uh, everything. Uh, we'll rename my rig. Let's see, let's to edit. Should be, should be rename in here somewhere. Oh well, screw it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go each bone and basically tell Maya what each bone is and why must we do this. Basically, when we bring in motion capture data, it has a naming convention and it needs to know what's the left foot, what's the right foot, which bone is which, and so on. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to go to uh, this thing and I'm going to double click on a bone so everything grays out but the bone I want and choose the bone. And as you notice, automatically it will choose the opposite side. Now, what's important to notice? Firstly, it says right upper leg. You could put a R or a L, all right, and it will know because it has an R and L in the beginning of your name that it's left and right. But it has to be consistent throughout the rig. That way, it will mirror whatever we choose. If we don't want the mirroring, we'll press this button here and we'll turn off the mirroring. All right, so let's continue. I'll choose the shin and the foot. Uh, oops, chose the wrong thing. Let me just turn off geometry. Choose the foot. I usually go in, choose this, and that's going to be my toe. Or oh, the ball of the foot. Um, I will go and choose the pelvis now. Alright, pelvis. The first bone after the pelvis, and then I'll go into the spine. All right, it will be that one and the chest. Go up. You just have to press these little arrows to go up. Uh, I'll go into this arrow here to choose the neck. All right, remember, we have three bones for the neck. There'll be one, two, and then the head, which is this one over here. All right. Then we'll do the clavicles. All right. And the shoulder, forearm, and hand. Um, if I had fingers, you know, like controls on the fingers, I can, I could still do it. I mean, you know what, let's just do it. I'll go over here, choose the finger, it's that one, that one that one and we'll go this one this one this whoops this one and this one I'm gonna stop the video now for I mean I'll pause the video and then I'll come back once all the fingers are okay so all the fingers have been done just to show you um, everything's green that's a good sign it means that Maya is recognized the bones are sitting in the right place. 
Now the next thing I have to do is come in and tell Maya which of these controllers control what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it. It's going to tell me once it's locked, it's locked. All right, so I can't do any changes. And then you see this blue icon over here. I'm going to press it, and it will open up this uh, setup. Now this is an HTML. Uh, you could actually come and rewrite it, put in new controls, put in a picture in the background. I have no idea how to do that. Maybe someone else would be kind enough to post um, a video on how to build one of these. I uh, would be very glad because I, um, I just don't know. I don't know HTML that well. Uh, it, actually, I don't know it at all, but I do know how to work this, so let's get cracking. So again, I'm going to start with the legs. I'm going to choose this guy here, choose this guy here, and then right click over it and assign. We'll turn green. Now watch. I'm going to choose something else. Nothing is. But once I choose that, you see it shows my leg. All right, so it's working. All right, let's do the next one in line. Sign. All right, pelvis. Sign. I just right click above above the joint I want it to know. Now this doesn't work symmetrically like the previous um, one I showed you for simple reason that um, it's just you know it, it doesn't have a naming convention maybe in the future versions it will so I do hope so but until then alright so we got those done uh, let's do the neck All right, neck and chest Sign, sign, and the head, sign. See, it's fairly simple. I'm not doing anything special, really. All right, clavicle, it's going to go on this one. Shoulder, it's going to go on this one. Um, elbow, the elbow, and hand on the hand. Let's do the other side. Clavicle sign and shoulder, shoulder, elbow on the elbow, and here we go. Last one. All right, so this is terrific. I have, you know, now I've got a control rig, very easy to catch, you know, choose my the parts you see and they will move and everything's hunky dory. So what can I do with this now? I could save it of course. Okay, I could go and save it and, and give it a name. But what I want to do now um, is bring in some motion capture data and use it to to move this character. So um, I've already opened visor um, through window uh, general editor's visor and under mocap you have all of these um, let me just choose something cool like this karate thing here let's bring it in and if I pull back you could see the model all right I got this karate chop here you could actually maybe give it some more uh, yeah, 100 frames be more than enough there we go. And now I want to um, just tell Maya to use to use that motion capture data. So all I have to do is go to mocap over here. And this has happened to me again. Ah, crap. Uh, this is some problem with my rig. It's, you know, let's consult it out. But as you can see, it's working working fairly well um, the shoulder is the problem it's, it's something with my the way I built the rig it has nothing to do with this but it's still not lost um, I could go to 
standard, bring it back, then none. All right, and now all I got to do uh, is uh, clear. All right, so that's not connected anymore. Um, and break the connection here. This is just standard fixing stuff, you know, it's not current constraint. This has all right, that's working properly. This should work properly now, I hope. If not, well you get the idea. I'll show you. Mocap data. Again, I'm not sure what's causing this. Uh, actually, I am sure what's causing this. I didn't remap it. Okay, now I've got to remap this guy. There we go. Oh, I remember. All right, what's causing the problem is that on the shoulder I didn't put the translation on both sides. You see, this side had the translation, this didn't have the translation. So what I was doing was just moving the rotation data, but not the translation data, and that's why it was getting all mixed up. So basically, I did it right, just wasn't paying attention. So it's good that you saw that mistake, uh, if that happens to you. Just to prove my point, everything's perfect now. And as you can see, my guy with the new rig. All right, so the cool thing is, all right, so I got all this animation, right? I could go now, bake, bake to rig. All right, we'll go through the animation. Okay, so I you could see it's it's baked in, um, and it says none. That means this guy I could get rid of. I mean, if I get rid of the motion capture and data, it's gone. All right. But I still have the animation. Now this is extremely awesome, uh, you know. And then I could use the animation layers to come and fix this up, you know, to clean it up, add, add stuff. So let me s let me show you. Um, I'm gonna go back and open uh, the previous one I did with the mocap. I think it was this one. No, that's already here. Um, just to show you the last thing and then I'll end this video because it's getting a little long um, here I have uh, this guy uh, I'm gonna parent it to here alright All right, so I have this guy here and what I want to do is you know create custom rig and as you can see this is working fine full body IK. I showed you this in the previous video. But the same here, I could go and take um, motion capture data alright, so now I have some motion capture data here and there's a guy running and what I can do is just tell it take from mocap. Alright, so now I've got my guy doing the same thing and again as you can see I got a very good rig here so now what I have to do is go to bake and I could go to bake to skeleton or bake to rig but I'm gonna bake it to the rig it's gonna go fairly fast alright I could now get rid of the motion capture data alright and I have animation now the cool thing is that I can use the animation layers. All right, I choose let's say the hand here. All right, and I'm gonna pull this dude out and put it on the other side just so. Choose the hand here. I go to edit. Uh, big as getting IKFK. Where was it? I think it's in the edit. And I can add an animation layer. Okay. So now just this hand has an animation layer. So let's say um, docker 
right here on the side. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna pull it out. Alright, so let's say I'm I'm happy with the animation until till about here. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a zero key and then move about two frames forward and put a one key. One key. Alright, so now what I can do Okay, it's gonna be a one key. Alright. Move forward and reposition the hand. So now the hand's positioned. Alright, and then I could put another one key here and a zero key and we'll be back to you know the original animation but now as you can see I have a keyframe on that so I could again let's do same thing again on the head alright so I choose that go here um, uh, you can add it from here I just for some reason every time I do that um, uh, let's just give it a Try saying create animation, uh, empty animation there, and then select it. Um, additive, all right, and then I'll create a layer. Now, this should be an additive layer, but it's coming in with, with you know, stuff. So, what I do, I just delete it, choose the head, go here, edit under edit controls add animation there and then I get a clean clean animation there. Let's go let's decide here it's gonna be a zero key a zero key and then here I'm gonna put it at a hundred percent and turn the head alright and then have him run Set key. All right. I have him run forward to about there, and I will turn his head back. So what I got is I'm looking back. See, and I'm basically added an animation. Now I could hide all the controls and tell it to also hide do not show joints. So basically, I'm left, you know, just with you know the eye, the extra controls like the eye controls that I can animate and you know um, right, so the eye controls. chin control see so it's pretty cool anyway so that's it that's everything I have to show on how to create a um, uh, HIK and I hope this is helpful for all of you people who saw this feature and were looking for you know tutorials how to do this and everything I, def I desperately looked for a while and try to figure out, figure out a lot of stuff on my own. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have anything else you want to ask me, uh, you could email me, uh, you know, send emails to my site. Um, that's it. So we'll talk. Bye.